needs to move his whole head. Like this. Yeah. He, yeah, he's got to move his whole there. head around to see what's going on. Oh, body. I think many conservation organizations today are waking up to the fact that uh, conservation in the United States has been a very white male privileged activity over the past uh, century or more, and that now is the time to make this activity more inclusive. <laughs> Many conservation organizations are uh, expanding the diversity of their boards. They're getting a more diverse set of voices at the table. And they're having to think, rethink their missions. They're having to rethink how are they going to reach the many people of color and the many people who may not have ready access to nature. Mass Audubon's been around now for 125 years. We were created by two activist women who are also abolitionists, Harriet Hemingway and Mina Hall. Over the last year, we've been dealing with a lot of issues, obviously around COVID, but racial injustice, social injustice, uh, inequalities. And um, we've felt that as a conservation organization. It's been a bit of a reckoning for the conservation community. That is, are we being inclusive enough? Are we being welcoming enough? Are all voices at the table to help shape the direction, the priorities of those institutions? Would you guys touch the top of the leaf and the spine? Would you grab it and touch the sides? That's when you feel distinct. <laughs> I really see a change happening right now, and I've been in this business for 25 years. As an organization, we are, for the first time, investing millions of dollars committed to the issues of diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice. We just added three new members on our board who are people of color and one member who is a LGBT community to increase our board membership to 18%. We've set a goal of 25%. Over the last 50 years, we've lost 3 billion birds in North America. We have lost coastlines to sea level rise. We've lost biodiversity as a result of overdevelopment um, and the impacts of climate change. We have so much to do to protect nature, to clean the air, to address climate change, to clean water. There it is. The only way we're going to have enough voices that care about this work is to make sure that we're reaching everyone because it is important to all of us to have clean air and clean water. So to the extent that we seem um, in, in, in some ways uh, an organization that's exclusive to community, why would one want to participate in our mission?